so much fun. Howdy, I'm Jason, and today on the Auto Edit Jeep, we're going to be swapping out these BF Goodrich Mud Terrain tires for these Maxxis Razor MT tires. Now, we're not doing that because these are worn out, but I'm going on a pretty amazing road trip with power stop brakes called the Trail to SEMA, and Maxxis is the sponsor for that, so we're going to throw these on here. So first up, let's get the old stuff off, and we'll get the new stuff on. Remember, lift with your back, not your legs. Your back is weak, needs lots of strengthening. It's my ongoing joke. Relax, guys. Use your legs. Maxxis calls the Razor their flagship mud terrain tire, and I like the aggressive looks of these. I will miss my white letters on the BFGs, and they were all around great tires. Here's what they look like after 15,000 miles. Lots of off-road adventures left there. Stay tuned for honest performance reviews on the Razor MTs after I get a few miles on them. And I'm getting my CrossFit workout done for today. But uh, I'm having one of those little nostalgic moments. Because it was almost two years ago that I was loading up these tires to get mounted up for the Jeep the first time. And this was just my work truck. And uh, now it's my truck. This is the second set of tires for the Jeep. I'm a blessed guy. So here's the tip. Gets you pretty dirty, but this is the tip that I saw Fred and those guys using, is that you roll the tire back onto your thigh, right under your knee there, and then you just hoist that up. And boom. Tire. Oh. It's gonna be a full full ride here. I think we're gonna have to go top shelf. Yeah. Whoa. Oh yeah. <laughs> it didn't stay up there. Getting tires. This is a workout for everybody. So we're back from the tire store and we're gonna do a quick measurement because all the tires say 37, 12, 5, R17, that's 37 inch tall, 12, 5, 12 and a half inches wide and rim R17, obviously. So the B of Goodrich's measured out, and now none of these tires actually measure that. So the B of Goodrich's measured out to 35 and a half and that's what I set the calibrated the speedometer to. Now let's measure and see what the Maxxis tires measure out to. This is, isn't super scientific, but it gives you a, a pretty close. Now I'm showing a healthy 36 and a half on the measured height in the real world on these tires. Now that's an inch taller than those. So I'm gonna have to actually hit the recal on the Speedo. And that's an interesting thing to know. I might have to actually do some tweaking to the bump stops, all these things, because I had it dialed to where just things kissed and touched right at full stuff. These are gonna, gonna change that. So these are things you have to take into account. Also, the weight. These things are much heavier. These are 117 pounds, as opposed to the BFGs, which were just, with the same rims and tires, were just about 111 pounds. So, kind of stuff to take into account. Let's get these mounted up. Oh. Oh, that's so much fun. Looks good, let's keep going.
And of course, a quick shout out to Power Stop Brakes because they're the ones who actually uh, invited me on this trail to see my trip and these brakes have been flawless. I absolutely love them. Good upgrade. Matter of fact, spoiler alert or hint to the future, the Ram Truck Project, getting these as well. All right, let's keep mounting. So before we get all the tires back on and the Jeep back on the ground, I wanna show you and share with you a little bit of the ongoing upkeep and dial in or the continual tuning that you'll always be doing with your, your rigs. Um, this metal cloak shock, you might've noticed in my last video, I think it was, maybe last two, um, this was actually sitting a little bit low in its travel. So after looking at that and trying to analyze, I always try to figure out why stuff does that. And it wasn't, there was no blown seal, there was no oil leaking on it. So I kind of looked underneath here to see what might have happened. And since I might have accidentally jumped this thing a few times in the last few videos, I, hey, it happens. Um, it actually bottomed out. And you can actually tell from the witness marks on the exhaust pipe here and way up top here that I bottomed out really hard. So that would kind of explain the uh, potential for why it released some of the nitrogen. So it's no big deal. I actually took the thing over to one of my local performance shops and for 15 bucks, they topped off the nitrogen on the upper and the lower here to 150 PSI. And the thing is tip top good as new. As you can see, I have the Flowmaster American Thunder in this thing. Many of you guys have liked the sound of it. Long-term performance, excellent, it's loud but it offers you all this ground clearance. The stainless pipes handled are standing up well. And as you can see, <laughs> you can clank it really hard with your track bar, jumping it and everything's okay. All right, so I always torque it after it's back on the ground. Pinto's going to eat that fly. Come on, Pinto. Hey, bud. So last but not least, we're going to go ahead and tune the computer to calibrate for the new size tires. Now, since I can't, you know, um, some of you guys might be fine with your speedo being off, but I'm kind of a, you know, attention to detail kind of guy. So we are going to change that. Quick adjust, tire size. Now, you could get any tuner that you want. This just happens to be a Diablo Sport, and it has enough uh, settings in it. There's a few things that I'd like to improve on it, like being able to override the traction control, but eh, it's okay, we make do. Right now, I have it still set for the 35.5 that the BFGs measured out to, mounted on the vehicle, and now we know that the Maxxis measure 36.5, which is the close, pretty close to a true 37. So we're gonna go ahead and change that to 36.5, enter, save, and it has now just updated, turn off, continue, turn on, continue, and done. Tire size is now set into the computer at 36.5 with my axle ratio at 488 to 1. All is good. So I'll test that out on the highway later with the GPS just to confirm that, but it worked perfectly before. So there we go. Let's take a look at this thing with the new tires. All right, Pinto, jump. Oh, good girl. All right, so there you have it. Maxxis Razor MT is going on the Jeep to replace the BFGs for now. Now that's because the Power Stop Trail to SEMA tour that we're gonna do, it's about two to 3,000 miles. We're gonna cannonball out to Colorado, head all the way to Las Vegas. It should be a lot of fun, so stay tuned. I'll give you updates and performance reviews on these things. They look awesome, they're a little bit bigger. It's kind of a unique thing to have to deal with those uh, little aspects, but stay tuned, and until next time, enjoy your drive. <laughs>